context quotes. That is I'm true. I'm not a klepto, I'm an opportunist. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and with that, I say it's time to start. Hello, everyone, or the three people who are actually watching. Welcome to In the Oven with Pi. I am your host, Hello. Pi. And I'm joined by three of my esteemed guests. Please introduce yourselves. Greetings, everybody. My name is Nathan Martin. I'll be your uh, your room service for the day. Uh, yeah, I like a burrito. Oh, thanks. What kind of burrito? You got any uh, preferences? Yeah, can I get a chicken burrito with, a, uh, with yeah. everything on it? Extra guacamole. Uh -huh. Um. I so spicy, it, spicy it, like it. Oh, fucking uh, ex God. extremely spicy. We're going to a white guy extremely already. spicy or, hey, guys. or what? I am Mexican. Give me the spice. Hey, Give me okay. the spice. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Okay. Ay, caramba. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, now Nathan has your order. Cool. Who well, um, else is next? Well, my or well, here, let me say who I am because I guess I kind of barged in. Um, <laughs> My uh, my name is Chris. Um, I like to piss. Uh, a flick of the it's flick of the wrist. Main character traits. Yeah, I drink a lot of water, and then if you provoke me, mm. the yellow sea will arise. Yeah, no, yes. don't 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 make him angry. Yeah, so I'm trying to get this, this burrito <laughs> order uh, not done nice and properly. I don't want to face the music. Exactly. Exactly. Very gross. Thank you. And I am Seth. I don't have any funny shit to say after my name because I don't care. <laughs> uh, yeah, as you should mm. not, because I feel like everything was already just said. Yeah. So, I mean, everything was already said. There's so much more to say. I yeah, know, there's, there's apparently, more to say. apparently. So I don't know if you said cheese or Jesus I for your he burrito, said cheese. Seth. He said cheese. Me. Cheese? What kind of cheese? Halloumi, cheddar, um, chihuahua. Oh, no. Nathan, is this your practice for when you get a job at Chipotle? Uh, I'm not getting a job at Chipotle. I'm actually getting a job uh, at a place I'm not going to shill because I don't work there yet. It's, but it's taco once, I, once I do, I will become a living advertisement. Ooh, nice, nice. <laughs> I want money. <laughs> nice, nice. Good start, good start. What is, what is, your, what is your favorite burrito, though, Seth? Uh, well, given that I... I very rarely have burritos. I'd say Cordoba makes a really good steak burrito, oh. and Chipotle makes a really good chicken burrito, and it yeah. really depends on what mood I'm in as to what toppings I get. That's For fair, me, that's it's fair. like, I don't know, I don't have a favorite burrito, I'd say. Like, H, I, like, I go to Chipotle for, like, just a classic vegetarian burrito, and sometimes I go to other places, sometimes I go to other places and get, like, just a steak or a chicken burrito. It's like, I don't know. Just a burrito is a burrito to me. That's fucking sacrilege. I can't believe my yeah. own friend would say a burrito is just a burrito. I will eat. There's so I, much. I will eat that, any burrito. I will eat any burrito. That's what I'm that saying. Is, and you don't. You have whore. A <laughs> <laughs> calm down. Calm down. Oh, no. <laughs> you All right, just eat so. any burrito? There's no love in it. <laughs> well, I mean, have you ever eaten the burritos that? CPS gave us that were just oh, bags. Yeah. No, I've never. No, meat? no, I've never eaten any of the things they those, were. The school system went count. after us. Those He's things. too rich for that. <laughs> uh, perfect things, start. Perfect yeah, start. Really, take him really for good one of us. For, uh, no, why, why would I ever eat something that would definitely cause me fucking heartburn and death? Oh no, those things were really good as sponges. Ew. Never spilled milk on a table. You can just plop down like three <laughs> yeah, of those. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> He's not wrong. He's not wrong. <laughs> it's crazy how accurate Yeah, that I know. Is. Okay, really see, gross. no, I had well, I had a sandwich from the school provided. Nearly choked on it. Oh yeah. Unfortunate. That, if, if you don't, are you sure that's not how you eat it? <laughs> you just but, gotta massage I, it down. It took, it's not, <laughs> I didn't. I've never choked on school food. Maybe you took like one giant ass but bite. No, like no, I took a normal bite. Food. It is very thick, spongy bread, and the peanut butter mm. just gets stuck. Oh yeah, I know that they have a lot. They uh, they they load 
the, the school food. Uh, we we went we went to the same school together in yes, high school. It will be and un, it one, will of, one of one of one of the more lamentable facts about the school's existence was its um the, the food that it provided. Serviceable to <laughs> yes, the point of the just, fact that it provided you with the nutrition you needed. But ultimately, um it was all we we the school ordered it from a location that pre-packaged and pre-made all of the food just, uh in a very cheap fashion sent it over to us and the most involvement yeah. that the uh that the lunch people had was essentially just heating up the plastic capsules yeah that that's in. that was disgusting like the only thing i would actually eat there is like i think sometimes they had like the only thing sometimes they just had like a just like some fruit or something that would that i would snap yeah, I, I know this they're, is sacrilegious to say, but their fake meat or their their meat and rice concoction that was essentially ground up hamburger, tomato sauce, and rice it was actually not too terrible. That's sounds. Now, I've never that's, had that. Describing like it sounds that, disgusting. Well, that's like saying that the boiled leather that you ate off your shoe is just marginally better than the boiled leather you ate from boiling your wallet. Why would I? It's, it's why would I great. boil leather? I know you. It's, it's, it's boiling leather. Measures. You bo can... bo boiling leather is actually yeah, I know, a I know. process of creating it. Yeah, yeah it's, but it's also yeah, but I know. Apparent because apparently you can boil leather can, and like you yeah. can it get nutrients out of it. But still, guys, we're not yeah, the Stone them, Age. Them, you wouldn't need to nutrients. do that now, fellas. We all know who's to blame for this, right? Vita. No. I, I'm already confused. Who are we blaming for what? <laughs> for, for these horrible lunches, you know who we have to blame, right? Oh. Michelle Obama. Oh, I knew you were gonna say. I knew you were gonna say an Obama joke. I knew you were gonna be. I knew you just about to be like, "Thanks, Obama." No, but no, isn't it like the reason why like there's like healthy, fucking like meals for lunch is because Michelle Obama did like a like a campaign for healthier food, and then it just kind of was like she kind of. I think she did, yeah. Yes. She she did, and a lot of school districts, like the one that we went to, elected to take the money and ignore her words yeah. in favor of foods that were very, cheap. And yeah, that's, that's a very running theme at our school: was we're gonna take your money, but then, but we won't do anything. But that's it. <laughs> Yeah. I remember when they got like a, a, a million dollar loan and they painted all the lockers and oh like, yeah no that's all the they did are, are but all you fucking the joking it wasn't there. a million it wasn't a million it was 20 million yes, oh was, that is was, all was, they did they just repainted 20, 20, lockers 20 million dollars they repainted the lockers and like nobody a, knows where any that nobody knows where any of the other money went so, so they're like a beige to like a gross teal at at this point, I feel like we're getting a little out of pocket. Let's not identify ourselves too early, and let's not get involved in too much political controversy. Yeah. Let's talk about the shitty food, because yeah. there was one thing that uh, this that the school district had that wasn't dog shit. What was it? Um, they had this uh, for a while, like when I first arrived at the school, and for a time afterward, there was this one thing that they would serve like every week. It was like a little, uh, it was like a like a spinach and cheese pastry that was divine it was one of the what? best it they was one of the they sold pastries it wasn't a spinacopita it was um it was it was a pastry i'm sorry <coughs> how did you just say spinacopita spinacopita <laughs> oh my god oh dear lord i'm not even gonna try to pronounce it to because you? i know i can't <coughs> that's just Look, Spana look, people Spana can Opica. already assume off of the fact that I was that I was uh, ye yelling at Pi over here about burritos and the fact that both of you guys said that I should work at Chipotle or Taco Bell that people assume no, I'm I did, probably no, Michigan. No, no, the only no, the joke was that you I, hate you hate you hate Chipotle. That was the joke. But that, that that that's the thing that we'll get to later. I do not I I, I do dislike Chipotle. I'm not going to get into it right now. Yeah, that, um, that was the joke. That was only. But the they, joke. It, they it was it wasn't those uh what whatever the fuck you pronounce it as Seth. Spinacopita. Whatever Spinacopita. <laughs> fuck you. <Come> on. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was it was it was like a puff pastry that had that had like a like a, like a, I, believe, I believe it must have been a mozzarella cheese and some like spinach oh, yeah. and olive oil. Uh, in, in it. I, the only thing I remember eating of any version like that was their cardboard with. Oh yeah, uh, their pizza. The quote I'm, 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 pizza. I'm getting to that. When I arrived at the school, it was the best thing that they served. Like it was, it was actually really, really good. What is your What I, is your previous experience then? What? Like, th what's your bar? My bar. He was not in the country prior to the this. Point, so... The point. 
I, I feel like the bar my, is yeah, but yeah, but you, but you boast about my my, my boast bar. About my my bar is that I happen to enjoy a very a very solid a uh, very solidly fed lifestyle where I have been uh, to a number of restaurants uh, in my lifetime where yeah. I've eaten good food and my parents also happen to be good chefs. Fuck you for implying that I just don't eat good food. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's what I was talking about. Three cheeseburgers in a row. So yeah, but like I just I don't yeah, judge. but I don't classify. Just because I don't classify that food we were served as good food. Okay, so let let let, let me let me break out the fucking uh, the, the the rating score so I can actually get 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 this point through. Most of the food that was served at on my scale of goodness and edibility ranks about a three out of ten, sometimes a two out of ten. A two out of ten being something like grass. I would <laughs> eat it, but why would I? I'm like sure that was uh, served at some point too. I, I, I would not. Be did surprised. I eat grass? Did you? Probably. I, That's I a legitimate would, question. Though. I wouldn't I, be surprised. Did I eat grass? Anyway, most most of the most of the school of food was a little better than eating just actual grass. Like some of it was legitimately disgusting. Um, yeah. um, I, I would and say their uh, fish patties were disgusting. Yes. F uh, f uh, assuming that a four out of ten is when food starts getting relatively good, four out of ten being like. Ketchup, okay. like just straight ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> like at that point, you a four out of ten is when you start to say, "I guess I can enjoy this," and like you know, sized in in like reasonable doses. You know, I, I could I could eat a thing of ketchup. It tastes ke ketchup is good, um, and it, it, it it's it's a solid condiment that makes things that taste worse than ketchup taste better, um. Fair point, fair because point. That, that that's kind of what that's that that's the that's the purpose of to, to me that's that's the that's the extent and purpose of ketchup that and the fact that it's used in good barbecue sauces um but uh the the, the spinach pastries at the school were serving i would say that those sat around like a solid seven seven and a half out of ten significantly better than anything else the school served by a number of degrees that was until my final year at the school where they changed the recipe for these things and turned them into the cardboard chitlings yeah. that uh, Seth was talking about. Well, yes and no. There's the other... Holy crap. There's the uh, other... Yo, oh, we got stuff live. Let's, let's go. <laughs> my what, phone what is this? Copyrighted. Copyrighted. DMCA. Copy, oh, dude. What the hell? I just started. Now it's gonna be shut down. Playing something, FDA. and I am very concerned. Yeah, anyway, what happened? What was that? That was. That wasn't even an alarm. That was a YouTube video that was open like twenty like, over two hours ago. That I closed my phone, and then it just started playing. What was the video? It, it was an ad. For a completely separate video. Wait, 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 hold on. What was the ad for? Um, let me see. The ad was for. Of course, now it's not loaded. Actually, will we get sued uh, if we mention a company? We may get sued. Nah. Uh, let's not, let's no, not. No, no. It's not a company. It's, oh. it's oh, for. Like actually, it is. It's for a well known, uh, phallically named, uh, sports brand. Ah. Uh. Okay, okay. Okay, now I kind of want to hear the name of no, this fucking no, brand. No, no, no. Oh, wait, what? I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk it. Phallically named? Phallically named. It's, it's a nickname for Richard. Yes, that's it. That's it. We don't need to get too far into it. Yeah. Uh, anyway, what I was getting at before that, before I was rudely interrupted by my own phone, was that there was a different cardboard concoction that they uh, used to make. Or still make, I don't know. I they have a that. lot of cardboard. Yes, yeah, but this one specifically Seth, was Seth, the most... why can I hear birds? Because my window is open? He lives yeah. in nature. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's, He's a tree right now. He's a He's a tree. Tree. Seth lives off the grid. We're actually communicating to him by <laughs> yeah. one of our correspondents right we now. Have yeah, yeah. Um, we have yeah. a carrier. We have a real-time carrier pigeon. Yeah, we, we, don't, we don't know... We don't know where he people. is. We're not even sure yeah. he's if he safe. exists. Is he of this world? I don't we'll think never he, know. I don't know That's if he a is. a really good question. 
Anyway, my point is, <laughs> there was a cardboard concoction that was cardboard, ketchup, and, like, American cheese that they had the audacity to call pizza. That so took, the, took, the, took the cake as being one of the more uh, less, less, less appealing uh, dishes that they quote-unquote made that was somewhat of a precursor for the change in pastry recipe. Which that, you could build a house out of those shingles they called pizza. Bruh. They were thick and... Uh, I, I never food. had that because the pizza they served typically was actually like, you know, like... It was passable. They, From when they, I was there, they, they, they must have changed the pizza the year recipe before you were there, so that would have been, I think, what, Chris, our freshman year? Probably. The freshman Pro building's pizza was Probably, just, probably. It was, it was I was never in the freshman building. I always, like, left I'm, to go somewhere uh, else. It makes me kind of... I mean, I still have to take classes in there. I, I I still can't believe that Pi said that I just... That implied that I just eat shit food. I mean... No, you... if you, No, see, I correlate to the... I correlate the school food as shit food. I personally... Where's... I personally Where's think the bar. I personally think. <laughs> I personally think. What spices do you put in your I pers I personally, what qualifies you to talk about I personally how think, good food is? <laughs> I personally think you have a very refined palate. I've cooked with you, Pi, and I took charge all the entire way through. That's because I'm a baker. I don't cook. <laughs> we're, we're cooking some, like, shrimp. Um, I bake. I don't cook. Ooh. Wait, what and shrimp? I don't know what shrimp it was. I don't like remember the shrimp. Like, okay, it was like this pre-packaged thing that they well, get. Uh, let me let me ask the question I actually meant to ask. What were you using the shrimp for? Tacos. <laughs> oh, we're using it for like tacos. Oh, right? sorry. We like we like, we like we like we like grilled we like grilled them. Grilled yeah. shrimp tacos, nice, nice. Yeah, and I was like, okay, uh, do you have this, this, and this spice? And he was like, uh, maybe. I don't remember where, <laughs> dude. I don't, dude. I like I said, okay, I like baking more than cooking, okay. That's fair, that's fair. Which is fair, but you should still know where your spices are. I mean, that's... I always... Dude, I... That's my brain, 101, my man. My... Uh, what do you... I don't like shrimp. Then why were you making shrimp? Yeah, that was the only we... thing left. <laughs> I ate it. I was able to mask the flavor of it, okay? This is what... This is the one thing people make fun of me for. I don't care much for seafood. That's right. That's... that's uh, I, seafood... I, I, I seafood is the, the inferior meat of eating. Okay, hold on. Let's not be so hasty here, buddy. <laughs> I, just, I said what I said. People are gonna people are gonna say things, but I just don't care much for seafood. No, no, that, that people just don't like seafood very much. Yeah, but then I mean, yeah, my, but my, then, my then I but then, like, like that for, everyone I time. talk to is just like, bro, what, what, what? Oh, uh, how dare you have a different experience? Yeah, exactly. Of life how dare from me. how dare your taste buds be different? If, if you than don't mine. if you don't like seafood, then that's that. But um, yeah, I mean, I will eat it. Obviously, first... I have to sustain my body. But like, it's not like I'll. You give me a. You give me two plates. You give me one with like, give me one with like fucking meatballs or something. You give me one with shrimp. I go for the meatballs. Yeah, I mean that's right. I'd say fuck it and eat both. I, I, I do. I do personally like seafood quite a bit. Seafood is one of my um, more favored food categories. I mean, it's out. Like I said, if it's in front of me, I'll eat it. I'm not gonna be just a dick about it. You, you won't say no to it, but no. you prefer other things. Yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah, of no, course. that's that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, um, it's, it's not like I just throw. It's not like I'm just like, question, oh, I'm not it. Throw, throw it away. I'm not tacos. throw this away to the peasants. <laughs> Why did you mention that to me? Because yeah. I also don't prefer fish. We could have eaten something. You could have just had fucking steak that was the tacos. only thing there at the house. There was more, I assume. Yeah, like a whole fridge of things. There's a grocery yeah, but like store it was, it was a, in. it was one of those pre-packaged meals you cook for yourself. I don't know if we can say the brand. It's a service that delivers foods, food to your door that you can pack it, that you can cook. It has all the oh, ingredients. Some messed up jokes you can make in there. Well then, don't make them. Grinder. Oh my god. <laughs> well, we get sued for that. It's it's the grinder from Family Guy, where it's actually just you meet up and eat sandwiches and bath. Oh great, Family Guy reference, perfect. Yeah. Hey. Let's go, boys. Great. We've made it. Can we end the podcast? No. Is this it? <laughs> no, this is this is a passion project we've been wanting to do for a while. So, our, so to believe it or not, we're gonna keep going with this for a minute. 
That's true. fine. Yeah. That's fine. I was just fucking with you. I grew up in a semi-vegetarian household, so I my stance on meat and fish is, hey, if I can eat it, I'm eating it. Like, obvi- like there are a few things I won't eat, okay? Admit it, I mean, it's like I'm not like the only kid who's ever been a picky eater. When, I, when you were younger. No, I know what you're talking about. I think you are the, the, the one and only child who's a picky eater. Yeah. I, I, I ate everything I, I was given when I was a kid. Everything. Yeah. Like, if I was given shit, I would eat I'm it. Not, I'm not comparing... I'm not saying between the four between the four of us. I'm saying ever. Yeah. So I'm saying. Yeah, you are literally the only one. I'm, I hate all of <laughs> you there, so much. Why did I invite you? Is there anything I won't Now, eat? bear in mind, I'm also calling... Nathan and Chris, absolute vacuums for food. So, yeah, I, yeah, I know there is, this is this one is a double-edged food. sword here, and there's one food I won't eat. Okra. What's that? Yeah, I'm with you on that. What's okra? That, yeah, it's okra. like okra is this fucking... shitty ass, dirty little vegetable that tastes of grass that has been shat upon here okay pot it's, it's okay like future spicy, pie uh, who's editing this podcast it, it, it's, right it's, now it's, it, it's spicy seedy dirt future pie who's editing this is podcast put a picture of okra up it, it's it. it's this it's this awful it's like little celery, vegetable but bad it's like it, it's it, it's like i already don't like celery too much but this is worse than celery it's just it's so indescribably terrible it's very that, good in gumbo, though. It adds, it adds I, a certain oakiness to gumbo. But that's it. I, I, I agree on that part, and even then I dislike it. Uh, I dislike well, its presence it, it, in gumbo. Yeah. I, feel like, I feel like it cheapens the gumbo. Okay, so, well, honestly, I think... I mean, depends on who makes the gumbo. I mean, I one, thing, one thing I will always stand by as being very delicious is something, is something I've recently tried out. Korean barbecue. Do you say Korean barbecue, Korean barbecue or Brian barbecue? Korean, you, Korean, Korean barbecue. Korean right. barbecue. Was okay, it just okay, with okay. like sh- just just like a barbecue with like cheese? You get like a cheese palette, then you just get slabs of meat. Is that That's what you is that what you think it is? A Brian barbecue? Brie, uh, that so, it, it sounds more French than that, but yeah. That actually sounds like a like, like the barbecue restaurant that we went to in Chris's campaign. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. yeah so yeah. I just I, me- I remember I went to this place with a bunch of friends during the night during a night, and I just it was delicious. Like being, I was it was so much fun being able to like just cr- just cook it in front of you. There's a Korean taco I mean, like barbecue in... place by my my home. It's it's a little bit of a walk, but it's Korean talk good. Place. It is expensive as fuck, but it is oh yeah, good. vaguely heard of those. Sadly, from also a Family Guy episode. No, this this is not this isn't even a joke. This is real. I know, <laughs> I know. It, it's a good place. I I think I've eaten there maybe twice in the eighteen ish years I've lived here. But uh, yeah, it's okay. it's an all right venue. Oh man, now you get now you know that now you know that's. Seth here is legal, so ladies, hit him up. What? Please don't. <laughs> Please don't. I'm good. Or <laughs> fellas. I'm or fellas. Or on, that on. one either. I, I don't need that one either. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I, I'm just I, trying I, to I help my friends. those daily. I, I don't need any more of those. Any more of what? That's, that's a conversation for a different episode? podcast. For a different episode? That's a different episode. Yeah, we'll save that for the relationship advice episode. Yeah. Yeah, that's sure. never gonna happen. No, <laughs> not, no, no. One of only I, I, one of us here is in a stable, loving relationship. Um, I yes. raise my hand valiantly for <laughs> I am the yes, one. Yes, yes, you're the brag. I am the fortunate son. <laughs> you are the fortunate I am one. You are the fortunate one who has a love who has a very sweet and loving significant other. Oh, she's wonderful. And I from my from my interactions with her, she is she, you are a lucky man. Oh, I, I can't am, wait I'm to meet her lucky. at some point in the next ten years. Me too. I mean, yeah, I mean, we better be at we better be at the. At- her commissions are finally open. By oh, the way. oh, I got oh, I got to talk to her then. How do we go from our high school's god awful food to Nate's girlfriend? Don't don't it's the question. Flow of conversation. Don't That's how it works. Yeah, That's how it works. Jesus. 
This Seth is has been work. so excluded from like normal society. He doesn't. Yeah, yeah. Unfamiliar. Quarantine, with quarantine, has become, quarantine has just the become shack, a. The shack that I'm living in at this moment is currently <laughs> compounding its walls. I need help. You know, I mean, like you know how you know how the reality show Love Island has like, Don't or no, not Love Island, bi like or Big Brother, or whatever. They like they were cut off from the world, so they didn't even know about the pandemic. So just yes. like if this, this is what show. this is what you were, Seth. You were just like. You were in a box for the past 18 months. Try the last 18 years, dude. <laughs> that's, that's a fairly more accurate uh, statement. Depression. Perfect. No, not even depression. I was just, I, I was that kid in elementary school that was just behind the time. What do you mean? So I, like, I experienced the 2000s in like late high school. So, in terms of, so like what? You were into like, I don't know, 2000s. I don't, can't think of anything good 2000s. <laughs> Like, like 2000s style movie, like, uh, not movies, but music, music and TV shows. I mean, I, I mean, I can't fault you because I got into Avril Lavigne over quarantine. Of course you did. But, That's supposed to mean. No, like, like, like I grew up in my house. We, I did not watch TV all that much. And I, we listened to CDs instead of the radio. So I grew up on like the Bee Gees and Josh Groban and oh, Olivia and John and John Denver. Oh, cool. Which is great music, but if you don't listen to the radio, you you, you don't hear pop music that much. And it wasn't, yeah. like, for any, you know, religious or, like, moral reason. We just didn't listen to the radio. Okay. Except for, like, you know, occasionally there's a morning show Your background is so peaceful and not interrupting at all. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. It adds to the experience. Yeah, well, it's, I mean, you, it might, might be drowned out from the, it might be drowned out from the music that I'm playing right now. Viewers. <laughs> that you're gonna have that I'm gonna have to figure out that I'm gonna have to place on there eventually. But it's, you know, we'll, we I cross that bridge when I get to there. The the sparrows that uh, fornicate on my. On my, uh, God damn it! On my no, God damn it! God damn it! That's that's where he learns uh, most of his moves. Nature's beauty. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Uh, and the power generator set back, and my absolutely broken fan making a squeaking noise that I prang my microphone is. Oh, those are those, those aren't birds chirping. That's your fan squeaking, is what that no, is. Because, yeah. No, <laughs> that is two very different sounds. So that's that. If if you can hear my fan, it, you wouldn't be able to hear my voice. Basically, the birds are outside, and so they they add a nice ambiance. Yeah, but it might be drowned out from the music I play. Great, if you could drown it out in real life for me, that would be stellar. Uh, I I would have to I would have to go to I would have to go to the deep forest you're currently recording from and just scream or just bring a gun. Yes, I'm in Carterville, Illinois. It's basically all forest. Uh, and it's it's all uh, forced. Okay. Well, now I get, okay. Well, I'm probably gonna have to mute some of that stuff then. That's not want... where I actually. He's not, yeah. What are you talking well, about? Well, still okay. <laughs> well, still okay. The more information that's leaked out, the more likely we'll be skinned alive. By who? Do it. Fight so one me. Guy in Here's my listening? address. <laughs> <laughs> If you have the balls to fight me, I'll meet you there. Okay, that, okay. This this reminds this reminds me of it. Like, there's apparently a dude like forever ago in Eng in England who was just like who put a bounty on himself and just like, come on, ISIS, fight me. I got a sword. Anybody who yeah. owns a sword should not be the kind of person who's like, I want to fight everybody. Uh, have I have a sword. As a sword. Come on, as a sword come on, fighter. ISIS, have a crack. Shut up. I'm a crack at it, man, eh? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> mm. I remember reading that. It was like that was like forever ago. Just art just a mad lad right there. <laughs> well how... well one of the well our esteemed guest Chris had to step out for a moment, but I believe this is a good place to stop the episode. So everybody, thanks for coming in to this train wreck. But I think it was good. Embrace the weirdness. Yes. Become an so, individual. Does anyone have anything else they'd left they'd have to say? Leave your favorite burrito in the comments below. I'll rate them in the next <laughs> episode. <laughs> okay, okay. So thank you everyone. This has been In the Oven with Pie. We're coming out fresh.